Hey Simleys, it's Deligrissy here with Let's Play The Sims 4 Dine Out Part 9. I am currently in Queensland on a beach holiday, so this part has been pre-recorded since the last. So I am still reading all of your comments and checking them, but I obviously can't act upon them until I'm back. So if you're commenting and you're like, why is she done something? Uh, don't worry, I'll be back soon. But anyways, this is little Antonia. She's sleeping here in her new bed. We moved houses like two parts ago. And she's so sweet. She's got lots of stuff from the new kids stuff pack, which is really cute. And she's busting for the toilet and she is a big stench. So <laughs> we're going to put her into the shower in a second as well. Uh, so that's cool. That is cool. Uh, we might get her to take a brisk shower to be super duper energized and feeling good for the day. Uh, Clay Wu, on the other hand, I have worked a little bit on his relationship with Yuki. Uh, Yuki is Ali's really good friend, and so <laughs> since the last part, and so he and Yuki, uh, I was thinking they might have a little bit of a teen romance. I mean, he likes Caitlyn, but Caitlyn's a little bit old for him. She's a young adult, so they can't really get that far. Mr. Wu, on the other hand, he's been having a bit of trouble sleeping, is probably stressed with his restaurants. He's realized Stephanie is transgender, which I think came as a little bit of a shock for him. And we have discovered he has an alcoholic problem. He's an alcoholic. So he relies on alcohol to solve his problems when he's stressed. So we're going to get him up. Uh, we might open up the shop, I'm thinking, and then we might catch up with some more teens and work on the teen relationships too, seeing it's a Sunday, because then they're going to be back at school. So, uh, let's go into the shop. Uh, maybe change your outfit to everyday one. We might see Stephanie in this part as well. Uh, although I am looking forward to seeing your comments on how you think uh, Mr. Wu would be feeling about it. Uh, but anyways, we might actually get him to yell at Clay, take out his anger a little bit and be like, oh, damn, that was a little bit of a shove in the face. Just have a little bit of an argument. Perhaps uh, Clay was being too loud while he was sleeping or something. He's like, do you realize how much stress I am under right now? Running four restaurants to pay for your education and this new house and all of your computers. And he's like, geez, dad, what is your problem right now? Anyways, I think Mr. Wu is going to storm out of the house and open up uh, one of the... Do we want to open up Duke Models or Harvest Kitchen? Uh, let's work on Duke Models drive through for now, I think. And yeah, we'll open up... Uh, I can't talk. Open up that one and... You know, try and earn some money, make sure all the staff are doing well, and then we'll probably upgrade that Dick Monolds with Stephanie to something a little bit more pretty. Uh, hello, there are a lot of old people here. It must be the Elder Tour Bus coming to the Great Dick Monolds. A fat. Let's open this bad boy up. Open for business. And uh, as soon as we have our staff in here, I think we're going to get what. Mr. Wu likes best some burger and fries. Yeah. So let's request a table while we're here. And uh, maybe we'll get the kids to come here too. Uh, I don't know. Then they can't sit together though. And that's always a bit sad if they haven't traveled together. Uh, so we'll get a table and then we need to check on some of our stuff. Oh, this is a Simley's creation. Cadence? 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 Not familiar with that name, Freeman and Laurel Sharp. I don't think. I think Laurel's a Sims generated one. Okay, and we'll get uh, our waiter wherever they are. Hey, Caitlin. Uh, we might get him to. Oh my god, he could hit hit on Caitlin. That would be so awkward if father and son liked the same girl. Ah, that's messed up. Okay, let's order for table. I did not just say that. That is messed up. Uh, so I reckon what he would do is... Oh, that's right. We changed the menu to all the really fancy stuff. And he's going to be like, oh, what is this? I just want my burger and I want my fries. <laughs> Can I not have that, Stephanie? No, but he's earning more money this way. So we do need to give this place a makeover. Let's just... Maybe we should just order like... 
a chocolate donut. That's what he'll buy because he doesn't want any of the fancy food. Because Mr. Wu eats pretty badly. It's like, Kaylin, can you just give me a donut? Thanks. All right. I also want to check up on how this restaurant is going. So, okay, 300 markup. That's all fine. But in terms of our staff, okay, so our chefs are super skilled. So we definitely need to give this place a renovation and so are our waiters. Uh, yeah, so we definitely need to make the most of this and really make it awesome. All right, so we'll just wait for our donut and uh, perhaps we should invite Stephanie around to then have a little bit of a business meeting. Where are you, Stephanie? She should be way up the top, hey. There she is. Oh, okay, we can't invite her when we're seated. Unlucky. He's still got a crush on her, though. I don't know. I feel like Mr. Wu, even though he's a bit confused by it, I think he still loves her. And he probably hasn't really been in many relationships. He just works all the time. So I reckon, you know, he probably wants to explore his sexuality a bit more as well. And he might be a bit open-minded. Here's your order. Enjoy, Mr. Wu. Thank you. Uh, excellent. Actually, another thing we need to make sure is that our employees are happy. So they're neutral. Mm-hmm. Neutral. Neutral. Okay. I think that's fine. Uh, and once we've filled up a little bit, I think then we need to make sure everyone's happy at their tables. They're being seated. Is anyone eating? Oh, good. Um, so let's just check on table. Welcome. Welcome to... Drive through Dick Monald's. We hope you enjoy your lovely food. Even though it doesn't really suit the place anymore, but you yeah, know. Welcome. Welcome. Everyone's really happy with everything there, I think. All right, we're just going to scoot around quickly and do all that and maybe have a little bit of a business meeting with Stephanie. Oh, we're still seated at a table, so we better pay our bill. As if we're going to pay when it's our own place, though. Like, do we have to? Like, really? Okay. It looks like... I just want... Okay, we're earning money. This is, like... This is our bread and butter. <laughs> this is the place that we need to run uh, in order to make money and not lose money like our other places. <laughs> uh, okay, so these guys look happy. Oh, yes! That's right. We just got a five star. Oh, yes, honey. Five stars. Yes, honey. Thank you, Kirsty. Olive, what is your problem? Hmm? Hmm? We want to make this a five-star restaurant. Uh, and once we renovate it, it's going to be awesome. Do you mind not being behind my counter? Yes! We are four out of five stars! Uh-huh. Please don't walk through the drive-thru. Oh, wow. We should really get rid of this. This is a bit old. That's from when we made our no clowns allowed sign. But let's be honest, that was necessary. Oh, and Mr. Wu's little bed is still there from when he was sleeping and running this place. Okay, so why aren't you guys happy? Like, why aren't you five-starring it? I want everyone to think this is the best place I've ever eaten at. Like, totally. Wow, $900. Who bought that meal? Damn, son. Stephanie has transformed this place. Bring out cake. <laughs> Can I please just eat an entire strawberry cake? And let's just eat it. Oh gosh, Mr. Wu. He's like, oh, strawberry. Eating up my strawberries. Hey Nyla, how are you doing? Do you, should we praise her for doing such a great job delivering our cake? And you know what? We might close up uh, after six hours. Then we need to spend a little bit of time with the Kitty Winkles, I think. I think that's probably what we want to do. Um, check our table. Yeah. We should not have to end our meal and pay. That's ridiculous. The restaurant hopes you enjoy the... Oh, right. Yeah. Well, right. Cool. Excellent. All right. I don't know. We're not really... What? Excuse me? <laughs> wow, this place has some great decor. Yeah, I'm hoping you're enjoying those dirty plates in front of you. Why do they do that? Oh, I love this sim. Cadence, so beautiful. 
And excuse me, stylish Sarah Brown. <laughs> Best name ever. Why are you unhappy with our amazing restaurant? Just checking to make sure you're all happy. Hey, I thought we closed up. This will our new customers. And there we go. That's right, because we have to change. We have to shut down both of these, don't we? All right, let's... Oh my gosh, are you eating more stuff? I guess he's still hungry. Yeah, porridge is better than nothing. Okay, so we've just allowed new customers. I guess we'll just run this through and... Okay, we've been open for eight hours, so I really want everyone to finish up. Let's close the shop. Oh my gosh, we made $1,842. Imagine when all of our places are doing well. Wow. And we paid our staff $1,000. <gasps> This is good. This is good, you guys. Oh, wow. And we could open like three times a day and we'd be absolutely rolling in cash. Awesome. All right, uh, I'm gonna go check on the kids now. Alrighty, so Clay is hanging out with little Antonio here. He's teaching her how to play some computer games. It looks like they're playing The Sims forever. That does look familiar, that game. Uh, whilst watching some TV on his big computer setup. He's an awesome brother, isn't that nice of him? But I was thinking he and Ali might go out for a meal uh, to one of, or oh, to their favorite restaurants, I'm thinking, and they can invite a couple of their friends out. Because I feel like when you actually go out for a meal with your Sims, you you really do lift up uh, your, what's the word? Your relationships a lot. So let's invite Yuki, Let's invite Caitlin, uh, Rocky Tracy, I don't think is a teen, so let's not do that. Chloe Baker's cool. Is she older? Yeah, she's older, but we'll still invite her. We'll still invite her. And hopefully we can make some friends, you know. We're slowly starting to make more friends and I want there to be some relationships happening. I have a feeling in the next part, something big's gonna happen this, in this LP, so um, it's gonna be, you know, we're, we're really doing the groundwork in these last two parts to get them to a certain stage. Uh, oh, Clay didn't come here. Oh, all right, all the girls are coming out for dinner then. Excellent. Uh, let's request a table. Ladies out for dinner. How cute, I like that. Uh, hey, Ms. Annabelle Hook. Hook. If you guys have seen the film Hook, you might know what I mean. Hello, Olivia. Okay, let's request a table. Hey, did you request a table or not? She wants to pee pee. You can pee pee while you're sitting at the table. Like you can request, oh damn it. We always do this, don't we? Every time, every time I go to this lot, I have to change this because it doesn't work. All right, let's go down here, request a table. Thanks, Annabelle. And we'll go take a seat and then she can go to the toilet from the table. Uh, yeah, it's really bright in here. Uh, set color and intensity for all lights. Let's just dim them a little bit. Have a little bit of mood lighting. Sh wow, <laughs> maybe not that. Uh, maybe let's make it just like a warm color. That's better. Can probably even dim them more. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, girls, uh, are you gonna sit down or? I don't, I don't know. Let's restaurant. Let's order for table. Oh, they're having trouble sitting. This was the first restaurant I built, so I don't think I fully understood what I was doing. Uh, let's get you the lobster, you the fish pie. Uh, you can have the seafood lobster tortellini, fancy. And right here, we might give you, Missy, the wall ill. I, I don't like the idea of I. Let's just do the pan fried fish here for you. There we go, girls. And you know what? I think they're trying to get into this one. So I'm going to... Mm, are they trying to get into this one or this one? A little bit nervous about this. We're just going to make a couple of quick changes because... I don't know, hashtag necessary. Uh, so they should be able to get into that one from there. Oh, that's a different kind of brick. 
This seafood restaurant must be their favorite because they've been here several times. And then uh, let's just get rid of this one maybe. And what I'm gonna do is just rearrange this a little bit uh, and just that way hopefully they can sit down wherever they were trying to and enjoy their meal. Let's see if that worked. Uh, wait to place order. She also really needs to pee, so she'll probably be doing that. Oh, good. The girls can sit down. That's what I was wanting. Cool. And where's Suki, actually? Is she in the bathroom as well? Oh, they're just having a gossip in the bathroom. Okay, girls. Oh, this is so cute. Girls' night out for dinner. Maybe we should make this into a club once we get to know them all a bit better. Uh, can we just go eat your fish pie? Please, please, Antonia. You've already done the order. That was a little bit of a glitch right there. A few people have been saying dine out has been glitchy. I mean, I'd love it if you guys could uh, let me know what you think. Wow, this girl is, Chloe Baker is so beautiful. I think she was a Simley's creation, but I really, really like her. I feel like she would be great uh, later on for, for Clay. Maybe Clay should try and see the girls. He likes Suki. He really wants a girlfriend, doesn't he? Is there anyone else around? Teen? Teen? Wait, yes! We have a teen! <gasps> oh, it's Wolfgang. Oh, Wolfgang's not a Simley's creation, but we can still make friends with him. How are the girls going? We should maybe... It'd be fun to make a little bit of a girls club as well with Ali and her friends. Uh, yeah, why not? And then they can just like catch up whenever they want. I feel like we'll just call the club. Hmm. Teen diners. Cause they, they all, all of them have in common that they love food and they love cooking maybe. Uh, so we'll have Chloe, Caitlin, and Yuki as part of this club. Uh, is there anyone else who's a teen? Uh, no, it doesn't really say. Uh, but we'll be able to invite new sims as we meet them, I guess. Uh, but the requirements is that you are either a teen or young adult, I think. And anything else? Nah, we'll just... Oh, uh, I would like it to all be... I like the idea of it being female, but let's not discriminate. Uh, and then the action is that they... Is dining out now an option of what they like to do? Hmm. Well, we'll just say that they like to cook. I don't know. Let's just... They like to cook, or do they social? I think they should all be friendly. Uh, maybe they're friendly with yeah everyone. I mean, they're a nice group of girls, I think. So we'll do that. And then maybe they can... They've also got a bit of a sense of humor. And then in terms of food and drink, maybe they drink bar drinks a bit and or bar juices, shall we say, because they are underage and they like to go out and eat stuff. And they also love cooking together and baking together. There we go. Oh, and we're going to get something food related as a symbol. Mm, we can just do a coffee cup. Teen diners. Nice. So now she's got a friendship group. Uh, she finished her meal first. No one else touched theirs. Okay, are they on a diet or they don't like seafood? Well, fine then. And are you still socializing with your new potential buddy? Wolfgang's like so badass. I feel like he's way too badass for us. <laughs> uh, discuss interests. And maybe we'll catch Suki on her way out after dinner. These girls aren't even eating. You know what? Fine. This is just awkward. If you girls aren't gonna eat, I don't know, this is glitching out real bad, I think. Can we just pay the bill and leave? 
give up table. Give it up. Give it up. Oh no, it's bring it back. Okay. Can we just say goodbye? Oh no, it's awkward. Ew. What is that? Yuck. Let's get out of here. Uh, but I thought it would be pretty cute if uh, we just have Clay just quickly on the way out. Just give a little bit of a hug to Suki. Actually, no, don't hug her because they're not like a thing yet. But I feel like it would be really sweet if he had a little bit of a romantic moment with her. Damn it, she left us. No. She's not, she's going to be in bed, right? She's not going to still, still be here. Let's go home, Allie. Go home, Allie. Wolfgang's just out here to cause trouble, isn't he? Yeah, you is. Oh, Allie's going home. What are you doing? What are you doing, Clay? Oh, he really needs some help with his fashion sense. Oh, golly. Anyways, I think I'll leave this part right here. We might have to swoon Yuki in the next part. But anyways, I hope you're lo having a lovely morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you are in the world. And I'll speak to you soon.